Hey, what's up, man? Got some spyglass. Yes, we do. Some very fresh spyglass. Extremely fresh. I think this was canned... Yesterday? Yesterday. It says basket weaving, which we're in the pandemic. We're still quarantining and stuff, but, well, obviously we're here, but... Is that sending? Yeah, no. Um, so this is Bubble Sort by Spyglass. This is a 5.6% pale ale with Citra, Cashmere, and Eldorado. I remember that off the top of my head. Keep cold at all times. I can't recall a time I've had a... Uh, what? Why did I roll it? Yeah, the beer is like fucking 38 minutes old. Because I forget. Um, hey, Mike. How's that going? It's good. <laughs> um, have you ever had a pale ale by them? I don't know. I've had a lot of beer by the I can't think of it. I've had a stout. I've had a Saison. I've had an IPA. I've had a double IPA. I've had a sour. I don't know if I've ever seen a pale, though. But I'm excited because there's only so many 8%, 9% beers you can drink in a day. But a 5.6% pale ale? You can drink that. So bubble sort, spyglass, they always do this, like they always have like these sciencey stuff that I don't understand. Right? Sure. Yeah. They have all sorts of weird shit though. Yeah, because I guess like the so so they're from Nashville, New Hampshire, for anyone that hasn't watched the other spyglass videos. Um they're right around the corner from Mike. They make absolutely fantastic beers. Um This is definitely a little bit on the the uh sedimenty side. Yeah, it's 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 a hazy pale, man. It's a New England pale ale. It looks like like uh was it Baby Genius? Oh, uh, yeah, you got some good sediment down there, yeah. too, right? It looks just like Baby Genius, that really, like, straw yellow. Yeah, it's like, very bright. Light. Yeah, it kind of comes through on, on, on camera like that. Yeah. Getting this? Yeah. Mm, it smells a little like Baby Genius, too. <laughs> I mean, it, it smells like, like, a, a, like a New England pale. Yeah, it smells citrusy. Yeasty. Yeah. And I'll, I'm, not really getting, I'll, I'm not really getting malt, though. No. I haven't had Baby Genius in a while, but yeah, I can see this for... I've had plenty of New England-style pale ales, yeah. so... It's got yeah. a nice tropical fruit, a little bit of lemony. Yep. So you get a little bit of just that, that yeasty kind of a vibe. Um, you're getting... Uh, if you really see. dig, you can get a little bit of crackery malt. Yeah. It's really... smells fucking nice. It looks delicious. So it's, uh, Cheers. Cheers, sir. Wow, that's really good. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. That's way better than Baby Genius. No offense. Baby that's Genius is good, but this is... Holy shit. I mean, this is nice. Um, almost like... Like um, just like a, like a hint of orange juice or tangerine or yeah, something. Yeah, it's got that hot punch up front. And then it follows through with, with like the uh, like like the malt backbone there. It's a very, it's very light light malt, malt backbone. So um, it's just... It's awesome mouthfeel. Like gorgeous, effervescent. It's yeah. like a brunch beer. It says it was some OJ. Oh wow! <laughs> I mean, I was just I was just have this with brunch. I wouldn't. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's it's almost it's not champagne-y. It's the way heavier, but like uh, as far as like the the density, but it, it is like nice. It's light. Uh, it's light, but it's also fluffy. Yeah, and it's just lots of nice fruity kind of like it's like sort of fruity esters, almost like a. Heaven, like heavy kind of fruity esters. Yeah. Um, but it's really like nice citrus notes, like almost like, like, like a kiss of orange juice, um, some like lemon peel. It's fucking great, man. It's absolutely Jesus. fantastic. A little bit of bubble gum. I was thinking that too, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, it's so good. Mm. Fucking spyglass. Fucking hell. So I did not expect that. The citrus definitely there. Oh, yeah. Cashmere. I couldn't tell you if I had a gun to my head what cashmere tastes like. Um, El Dorado, maybe right at the back because it gets a little bit bittery at the back. Maybe mm -hmm. that's El Dorado, but whatever they did with these hops, like it's playing off. Each, they're all, all three of them are, are, are playing off each other so nicely. That's fucking gorgeous. Wow, what an amazing beer. Holy crap. Mm. Even for 5.6% in summertime, this is like a crusher. Like, like, like if you want a beer with a little more flavor than, than say a lager or something like that, Grab this. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Down in the comments, if you've had um, Spyglasses Bubble Sort. They're five point six percent pale ale. As far as Mike and I know, this is a brand new beer. 
I never had it before. Either yeah, way. I definitely never had it before. Yeah, um, I picked this up today, curbside pickup, super easy. Um, if you're in the area and you still haven't checked out Spyglass, you're doing yourself a disservice. If you're in the area and you're driving a Trillium and all that stuff like that, instead of do, going to Trillium one day, go to Spyglass. You'll you'll thank us later. I, people are figuring them out. Their their stuff's selling out very quick, and the lines are long. People have figured them out. The, I, I've never had like a, a, a long pickup line. No, but when you go in there. Oh yeah, when it, when it, when it was open. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, um, down in the comments. If you had this, what do you think of them? What do you think of Spyglass in general? And don't be silly. Go check out Spyglass if you're in the area. Um, there's sense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. If those are your things, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit those notification bells. Ding ding. That was a, that was, that was wow. a face. And uh, I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And, and this I'm is, embarrassed. This is Nerd Sense. <laughs> <laughs>